Boss, wake up. Basically, I am going to show you something really cool here. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you some 3D RC intent in Revit. Um, in this video, you're first going to, you know what? We're just gonna get straight into the RC intent because, well, you. Yeah, I'm going to get straight into that for this one, but I will have another video in the description below where you will learn how to make this particular beam. Uh, I'm going to record that one straight after. And this corbel as well. You know what? That's going to be the first part of the video, so this is part two. <laughs> um, I'm recording part two first because it's, it's RC. And this is what this is all about but if you already know if you don't need to know how to make these things you can actually just watch this video and you can use these techniques uh, in modeling your RC um, so if you are skipping that one this was made as a face-based um, what do you call it family concrete block it's got the concrete material on it uh, this was a normal beam and I just converted it to a uh, I beam concrete I beam and um, yeah so check out part one if you want to make these structures uh, but right now we're just going to look at the part two just the RC which is going to look like this if we look at it un unobscured really really cool um, in terms of section mode section view this is what they what it looks like uh, and by the way, in case you didn't notice, the red ones represent a certain size, so that is H40. Uh, the green ones are H16, I believe, and the yellow ones are H32. So if I was to change them in size to that, it would change the color. So that's cool. And you can set them up to have a color for each of these. I didn't do that because I didn't need to at the time. You only really do what you need to, but you can set it up in your project right at the beginning I'm gonna have the timer on there to remind me when I waffle on a bit too much um, anywho let's do this let's begin by going to the area where the corbels are I'm going to model that completely fresh in another location so select these, oh, I'll keep the floor on as well, just for reference. And I'll type BX. Okay, sorry, I'll hold shift and unselect the floors. Just type BX to isolate these. And now, I will duplicate the view so whatever I do to this can be easily fixed so I'll change this to my RC template and if you want to make your own RC template what you do is you just copy this so that you can pause it and take a look and that all I've done is kept all the structural elements on all we need is rebar Rebar couplers, which we're not even using really. Uh, we'll keep the floors on, the beams. Uh, this I've modeled these corbels as a, a structural connection, um, but if you model it as a generic model, keep those on. And obviously, yeah, reinforcement is on. So, how do we do it? Um, the way I did it is. I came to the floor plan, H level 1 or level 2 I believe it was, and I made a section. So I believe the one where I'm looking at right now is this one. So I'll type SEC for section, well that's my keyboard shortcut, uh, just make a section basically. You should know how to do that. And I will drag it right back, so we're only looking here. Um, let's go to the view. There is my corbel. I only want to see that little area. 
So uh, I'll actually I'll actually join these. Yeah, there you go. Right, reinforce concrete. First, we need we'll draw the ones going up through the column. So structure rebar shape zero one zero zero would be all right too. And that is literally it. I'll move that one over to its cover. Oh, and uh, before I continue, let's change these to maximum space, number with spacing. So I'm going to put another section down there. Oops. Section. Okay. Filters. Ah, okay, no, sorry. I think sections are turned off. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had a slight issue with my sections. So I'm gonna, I put one down that way and then I'll rotate it 90 degrees. And then we can look inside. You can take sections like this for reinforced concrete, by the way. Um, gonna close all and to view here and just zoom isolate into them so if you select that yeah oh well the section marker shows me anyway <laughs> which one so what do we do now I'm going to set this to my RC template. Make sure in your template uh, you can see the rebar and it's set to the correct work plane. I'll turn off the thin lines. Right, so we have H16 bars. I'm going to make these H25s in this particular case and these as well. And now I'll just see maximum spacing. That way we can edit the beginning and the end snaps to the end maximum spacing click away click it again and you can just about see the arrow okay so I'm now going to convert it to a fixed number and say 5 that's what was required and same with this one fix number great so we need, to, we need it in the other direction now so what we would do is we would type RO for rotate copy place here 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 and now I need to change the extents of this to make it there and there. So I could drag it back to snap to that almost, but it doesn't really snap and that's ruined that one. So what I do is I copy, type CO for copy, this one to that one. And I select this group and bring it in line with that one, let it snap. Bring down the quantity. You could keep them there, but you'll have double bars, yeah? which isn't really a big issue seeing as this is only RC intent um, and then I delete remember to delete the previous one but yeah it's just nice to ha have it neater D and then I select it select that one say DM and it will copy it down so how do I see it here I'm gonna set this to 3d RC my 3d RC template 
and so RC is on but we can't see it what we need to do is we need to set the bars to v be viewable unobscured so select all of that turn off the filter I mean filter out everything except the rebar come over here to view visibility states and select the one you wanted to see it's the copy isn't it yeah copy one yeah view as solid and view unobscured I think I've put oh wait there they are yeah, they are there. Hmm. They should be visible. Who is the these states? Oh, I think I'm in that one. Yeah. I'm in the wrong RC drawing. Sorry, RC, uh, 3D view. So, let me go to the correct one. It doesn't really matter about this one right now. Um, 3, 3D views. Really annoying. Me. Let's call it that, whatever. Okay. Now we need to put the links on so how do we do that we'll come to section view I'm going to drag all of these down just remember we've only dragged three sets if we come over here there's one set there that hasn't been dragged oh it has oh no it hasn't because we're just cutting everything there so it looks like they've all been dragged it's fine, don't worry about what I'm saying. Um, if I spot it later, I'll fix it. I'll leave those there, maybe end them here actually, now that I think about it. So, links. Um, now that I think about it, the links should have gone first. But it's okay, it's cool. So, rebar. We need shape code number fifty one. We need to say perpendicular to, to cover, change this to maximum spacing, and there you go. I think, though, for this particular case, bring it down change the spacing to 200 maybe even 250 um, and that's it now there's obvious clashes here so I'll, I'll move these end ones in and in and I'll move them slightly in that way So I'll align that to that. I'll DM for mirror that to there. Now align this one there. Then mirror DM for mirror that to there. Now remember, we need to change the visibility states each time. We well, don't have to do it each time, I'm doing it for you guys, but uh, each time you put new rebar down, you have to change the visibility states to make it visible. It's a bit long, really. I don't really see why they haven't come up with a way to fix it, to change it. Uh, I'm going to change those, by the way, to maybe H12, no, H20. Uh, just so that they are all white, so I can show you how to make the filter. Right, now, 
last thing. Well, it's a penultimate thing, even. You know what? The links... No, they do go all the way to the top. We're going to have more links over here. And... So, rebar. Link. See what else we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, six all together. Mm. I'll put the rest here. These are going to be singles, but what I'll do is I'll move that one up a bit. Those two are close to each other. This one comes down here and drags in. And V, that one comes down there, drags in. This is more for the diagrammatical features, as you can see. It's not quite accurate. You know, RC isn't really an accurate trade anyway it's more the RC detailer will do his task and the guy on site will kind of dictate what he's going to follow and what he isn't going to follow um, and they sometimes send drawing back, drawings back and say they, they're not good enough <laughs> we want it done our way anyway that's enough of that rant uh, check none check rebar just to show you and 3D RC. Okay. Uh. Okay, we will make these H20s just like the links, the other links. Okay, last thing we've got we've got to do is those things. Where are they? Those loop things. I forgot what shape code these are, so let me check. Rebar number 23, right? That's Oh no, shape number 36. Cool. So, now, what we'll do is rebar, and we'll look for that number. I said 36, right? Yeah. Let me select this and select rebar. And I want it parallel to work plane. So you're going to have a problem here to start with because it's not really. It's trying to think basically. So I'm just going to place that there, rotate it. And then type DM for mirror. Turn off copy. Yeah, there you go. So rotate it in place. There. There. Here it comes. I'm going to change its size to a H40. So we want a really fat one. And then I can drag this down here. Drag that down. There. And I'll say uh, number, well, maximum spacing. Bring this section up here, go to view, select them, bring these in a bit. Sorry, wrong thing. Um, where are they? Yep, 
Yeah, so there is a slight clash there, but usually they would fix that on site. Or you could talk to your engineer about finding a calculation for it. And there we are, finished. Almost. Now, let's make the last ones visible. Apply visibility states. Oh, okay. H32 will make them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we'll make them H50 then, just to change the filter. So how do you how do you create these filters now? So this pit is really cool. This is the interesting part. Well, well, we've done. Yeah, this is the fun part. This is the arty part. So we have our template we'll add a filter to our template and we'll create that filter so I've already got some here uh, let me add new new call it rebar h20 and select only the structural rebar and the couplers we're not using couplers but whatever and we'll say Family name equals no. Oh, what one did I? Hmm. Edit type name. That's it. So new. Rebar H20. So we say make sure rebar is selected. Type name equals H20. Apply. And there it is there. Now we'll add that filter that we just created and we'll give it a color. So we want it to be solid fill and we want it to be blue. Okay, apply. There you go. Now, what were the other sizes? So we got 12 and 50. And then what were these? 20, 25, yeah? So let's go again. I'll show you one more time and then I'll skip right to the end filters but this time the reason I'm showing you again is I'm gonna say edit new and I'm gonna duplicate the one I made just now the 20 duplicate it rename the reason we do this so we'll make it 25 is because now this is all set up all we need to do is change this to 25 and then we give it a color well we need to add it Okay, give it a color or solid fill first. Pink ish. Boom. Apply. You know, I, I'm 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 gonna do the rest for you. This is quite cool. We'll work work with it together. So now links were what size? So we got twelve and fifty left, yeah? So how would I do that? Create a new filter, duplicate any one of them, or first edit new, duplicate any one of those rebars, rebar ones, and duplicate twice, rename that one H50, rename that one H12. So 12 becomes that one you change it to 12 and 50 becomes h50 that's all you need to do now we'll add those two we'll add a color so solid fill and we'll say this shade of green and say okay and h50 will be 
I still need fill and I don't know, I'm running out of colours now. Orange. Okay, apply. Great. Finished. Done. And there you go. I'm gonna change these to a sixteen to make them thicker. And we had set that one up in a I'd set them up previously. And that's that. So now if I change the great thing is if I change these to H forty, which I already have a filter for, it changes the colour for me. Brilliant. So I hope you learned something. Um just to cast your mind back. Uh the full model looks like that. And when we put the RC in, it looks like that. What a beauty. So yeah, I hope you're still awake and I hope you learned something. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. There will be a part one to show you how to make this particular concrete structure. Um, just this little area. Um, there we'll make this beam, this part and I'll show you how to put these in place. Um, this is a transfer beam, by the way. That's why there's beams on top of it, in case you didn't know. Yeah, see you later.